This is Lockie Hume, and you're listening to The Crowject. Hello listeners and welcome to the latest episode of the Crowject Podcast. Thank you to our sponsors in Trojan Aluminium and Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini, where we are tonight coming to you from. Um, I'll go around the table as we have a very special guest here with us at the moment. But firstly, we go to Leighton. Hello. Hey, Charlie. Good. So, so I'm not the special guest? Oh. oh. Always special to have you in the present. <laughs> Uh, Pete, how are you going? Good yourself, mate. Welcome back, Mitty Mac. Thank you very much. No, even when them. I'm hosting, I can't even get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> and Ugh. our special guest is Patreon and friend of the podcast, Jade. How are you going? Um, I'm all right. Yeah. All right, going through it, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we move. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it been the last few days? Uh, Traumatised. This is the first time I've left the house in three days. Mm. No, I'm just joking. I'm not that psycho. <laughs> we- <laughs> We're going to touch on all things D yeah, listings very soon, aren't yeah, we, Jade? We are, we are. Look, uh, I think we just need to rip the Band-Aid off for tonight, don't you think, Benny Mac? I, th- I think so, Ugh. as we, uh, we're in the presence of the great man himself I up here know. on the I window at Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini for our audio, I mean visual watches. Even. My badge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got the skeletons in the closet. We've got the Halloween. <laughs> we got the Halloween decorations in there. That is literally Jimmy Roy now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. we got Jimmy Roy's Gansey yeah. as a shrine. Yeah. Um, Jade. Yeah. We need to talk about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm all good. You sure? <laughs> you need cry. to talk about it. Yeah. Here's your music. Yeah. Is this like free therapy? Yeah. Well, for this song, I think, goes for about uh, four and a half minutes. <laughs> It's oh, a dark yeah, yeah. I thought you were about to say four and a half hours. Oh, we could do. And I was we like, could I could probably talk about it for that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when did you start falling in love with Jimmy Rowe? Um, honestly, I think it was probably like, it was in April of 21. So I wasn't, I wasn't, a, ah. I wasn't an OG. You weren't the OG. I wasn't. No, yeah. I you went the back first through my carriage tweets. of the, of the, yeah. Of, yeah. I went back through my tweets and my first tweet was like, fuck, I love Jimmy Rowe. Fuck. And yeah, yeah so it. that was the start of it. And then I feel like it yeah. really ramped up this year. <laughs> yeah. Was it, was it the Carlton Draft Jimmy Rowe show top? Was that where it peaked? Um, yeah, I wore that, that, that debuted at the showdown. Yeah. Which was a very good game. Yeah, it was a great game. Um, it was a banger. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was the start of this year. I was like, yeah, I really like him. Mm. I like it. I always have like a bit obscure favourites. I'm not really the... The usual like favorite, which is fucked me over something chronic. <laughs> Seriously. Who was your previous favorite? Mitch McGovern left. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, stop. Okay, stop. Hang on. Next one, Hugh Greenwood. Oh. See you later. I mean, to be this he is was the good. Third one. Yeah. <laughs> Next one, Tyson Stingle. No, literally. <laughs> no, literally. There's an order I, here. I'm pretty sure at this point I'm the Grim Reaper. Like I should oh. not have another favorite. They're all. That's literally yeah. W- would you like to discuss your love of Matt Crouch at this stage? Or? <laughs> uh, look. He's too late. He's around I, for another year. Yeah, I did meet Matt Crouch. He was nice. Just straight I was there the for other operator. reasons, though. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was that amazing photo. Yeah, where he looks like he couldn't be anywhere else but there. <laughs> the Look, best to, be photo. On, to be honest, it's mm. kind of like, mm. it's kind of my fault because I just was more focused on Jimmy. But Matt was like, hey, how are you? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. How are you? And then he's like, uh, yeah, good. Uh, do you girls play football? And I was like, uh, actually, absolutely not. I can barely even run a kilometre. And he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I obviously he doesn't know I'm a bit my type of you know, just sense of humour. I was like, Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, now we are going to talk about AFL Women's Ball. We have to talk about these delistings. Now, there were three that were announced Saturday morning. We have talked about one Jimmy Rowe and a moment silence mm. while Adagio for Strings plays. And that's it. <laughs> now, wow. Jimothy. Jimothy, Jimothy, Jimothy. I know. Now, objectively, yep. I thought it wasn't going to happen. Well, I yeah. thought that Jimmy would stay on the list because of po- possible trade value for next year. Like, serious. Yeah, yeah. But you, you sensed it. You felt it in your waters? Well, look, I... 
I kind of knew it would happen, but I held out hope mm. that maybe. Mm-hmm. I think on like the last day of trade when none of the other trades went through, I thought maybe <laughs> if Macasey, maybe if Crouch, yeah, any anything. takers, I'm like, come on, come <laughs> anything, on, any, I'll take anything. But uh, no, I was like, oh, and then, but why? Why announce on a Saturday of all days? Oh, yeah, that is absolutely bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I literally, I'm not even lying. I got out the shower, saw my phone, and I saw the message where James tagged me. He's like, sorry. And I was like, oh my God. I opened up and I was like, oh fuck. It happened. I was literally standing there like this. <laughs> Actually, I had my phone in one hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, okay, what can I tweet to get some likes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually was very devastated. Now, uh, um, uh, His Royal Highness, Jimmy Rowe, he's 22, is that he's right? He's 23. 23. Sick yeah. mullet. Sick mullet. I Always know. gets lost at uh, Oktoberfest. Yeah, well. he's, he's got, got the his balloon, balloon on. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. balloon yeah. on. <laughs> and, uh, well... Hmm. I think the worst hmm. part about it is that I reckon if you had... McHenry and Murphy at a contract at the same yeah, time. Yeah, especially Murphy. Murphy would be, I think, would be the first one to go. Yeah. Well, there was an argument that I saw on Twitter about Shane McAdam. Oh, what that's a, not oh, even yeah. comparable. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Not though. even comparable. He, no, no, he can, uh, can, not comparable. But twenty-seven. Yeah. Other than uh, Speckies, yeah. Yeah. ain't too much happening. Rocks of sleeves. Okay. Mm, yeah. Bonus Did Jimmy points. ever wear long sleeves? No, he didn't. No, no Jimmy. No. Nah. But I don't know. I just don't really. Yeah. I think it's it was a bit unfortunate yep. the timing. Bad timing. I think he had he has potential. He really does. Do you think that Jimmy knew? Because his last Instagram post story beforehand was just like <laughs> could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah, yeah. Nick minute. Surely. Not AM Central. It was <laughs> worse. <laughs> it got worse. It's never a good sign when your dad on radio tells you that he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's done. I honestly... <laughs> he I, said that like 10 <laughs> times over the last couple of weeks. The writing's on the roll for little Jimmy. It's writing's on the wall. It, yeah. I did, think it, I did think Stephen spoke very well. He did. In that, yeah. in that interview yeah. today. But yeah, I'm still he- pretty hell-bent on the fact that I think Jimmy should have stayed. If... Who's trying to stay? <laughs> <laughs> if... I wouldn't let him. McHenry and Murphy were out of contract. When you look at their years over 2021, 2022, they are literally pretty much all on par with each other. Yeah. Mm. Jimmy, a few more goals and stuff like that, but... Just saying. And know. energies as well. The energy. Yeah. Celebration. It's, it's, I think that's what it is. And I'm sick of these people. It's a tongue out double Cobras against yeah, Geelong. Yeah, yeah. 2021. And then just Stephen Rowe. Um, yeah. I know, that's so, <laughs> someone tagged me in that on Twitter and I literally was like, I'm fucking crying. Like, stop. Yeah. And that's why I had someone tell me off for swearing. But anyway. Um, <laughs> We're looking at you, um, Mrs. Lodes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, but anyway, I, was, I just feel like he brought so much. But like, you could tell he loved playing for the team. That's yeah, what correct. makes me so mm, about it. He was always the first one when someone. I remember when Sligo kicked his first goal this year. Yep. Jimmy was the first one over there, and was like calling everyone over. And I was like, see, this is why I love him. It's good vibes. Yeah. It's, it's good vibes. And I'm He's, sick of people oh. saying, oh, yeah. but that doesn't make him good for the team. Piss off. He kicks. It goals. does make him good for the team. Well, I think try- we played him in the wrong position. They yeah. tried him and tried him in a few different roles as well as uh, sort of almost the lead up. Uh, forward is not necessarily sorry the lead Tom up forward Lynch connector yeah, the, style. the connector yeah, yeah. the connector and he got heaps of touches and was very composed with the ball yeah I think everyone looks at it and they look at his stats and the main thing that people look at is they're like oh he doesn't tackle yeah. which it's it's true when you that's because he got it, laid there like, and buried no, he he doesn't, doesn't, <laughs> I know he doesn't tackle much but I feel yeah. like he was played in the yeah. wrong Correct. spot I would have yeah. rather him get like six disposals a game and kick yep. a goal or two rather than have like 20. Could we yep. see him as the boundary rider for 5AA? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be a leap. Right. we down to you, right? Yeah, 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 back to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <Jen. laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think I've, well, me and my friend Alex, we're starting a campaign on Twitter. <gasps> Jimmy Rose going on the Bulldogs. Well, that was Western rumored. Bulldogs. That was rumored 100%. at the start of, of the trade. No, period. it just didn't him, happen. Jimmy Rowe and Cody Waitman. Like, oh, surely Bulldogs, yeah. Bulldogs would have known that. Adelaide was going to delist him. Yeah. So why would they not going to trade for him? I feel, I feel like on opposite ends of the spectrum, you got Rory Lobb and then Jimmy Rowe. <laughs> like you got Rory Lobb, who looks almost like he should be a German model. I, <laughs> Do you know what Rory? I mean? And then you're going to have Jimmy Rowe, who's just like Mala. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah, but Cody Waitman and Jimmy Rowe in the same team. Oh yeah. So. That is a dynamic duo. 
So if they pick him up, is this really 4D chess by the Bulldogs? So you know how we dropped the pick so it they is. wouldn't get him, but now they get him two years later when he's coming it is. to his prime? Yeah, and they get him for nothing. But what if we're uh, using him as a mole to send information back <laughs> ahead of the uh, elimination final next year? Charlie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Tarly> style. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think he's going to – I think he'll end up he'll, – I think he'll get picked up. I think he'll go to Bulldogs and hopefully Bulldogs play Port here. Mm. Everyone give that a thumbs up or thumbs down in regards to Jimmy being cut. Bad. <laughs> I, I give it thumbs ben. down. Ben. Ben. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Explain so, your position. Okay, yeah. Purely um, from a team <laughs> perspective, with yep. ranking coming in, that there's just not room. I get that. I get that. But do you think... <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, uh, that makes sense. But... Uh, but... SNFL Premiership? <laughs> come on. Oh, um, man. Because I would... In the team, I'd play... You'd obviously play Rochelle and Rankin. Yeah. Yep. But I still feel like you could still squeeze Jimmy in there with those two rotating as mid... Between the midfield and the forward line. Yeah. Mm. It, yeah. It could be done, but then you've got to think of McAdam as like the medium forward as well, which makes it hard. And then McHenry or Murphy, usually there's one of those. Oh, yeah, they so. can be the sub. I'm happy for Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, remember how he used to always go in the shower before the games and get I his know, hair wet? That's so wholesome. Oh. He's, there's literally a TikTok that Adelaide posted. He's like, I think he got subbed on. He's literally just like stand there with a bottle of water. Like, yeah. <laughs> Getting fired up. Like, that's that's great. just so wholesome. You, I, I think you gotta love the weird routines. Yeah. <laughs> See, my problem is I get too connected. And I'm like, yeah. really? I, I'm. I, <laughs> yeah, I, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually want to die when people tweet me. And they're like, oh yeah, like t- saying that I stalk Jimmy, and I'm like, come on, guys. Like, I'm 24 years old. I do not stalk. A <laughs> he player. knows me. <laughs> yeah. I'm friends no. with him. <laughs> we met at the Hungry like, Jacks. Come on. Like, I'm like, settle down. Like, I. Uh, anyway. I just happened to walk past his house when he puts the bins out of here. No, I do not do that. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> okay. Now, what, the other – sorry. I was going to say we've got to mm. reminisce about the uh, – who paid for the video with Jimmy in it? Elodie. Elodie. Yes. yes. You're good on your boys. Get around your boys. We'll have that um, – on YouTube as well. We'll put that at the end. Do you reckon he'll still be selling them now? We should get one. We should. All right. We've got to support it. Commiseration. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening in right now, we're going to put something up uh, probably Wednesday morning. We're recording Monday night. We're going to put up something Wednesday to say, what should we get Jimothy Rowe to, to say? say. Yes. Yeah. Should we just get him to say good boy 15 times? <laughs> no. What about the women? Huh? Yeah. What about the women? <gasps> <laughs> what? Sorry, what? I'll just say good boy. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. I, I was like, what about this? What? what? <laughs> what oh, this sorry. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Peter digs a hole. <laughs> but, okay, so uh, I guess uh, we've probably spoken about Jimmy for a while, but I want to know. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> I want to <continue. laughs> <No. laughs> just... know what everyone's favourite memory is. Yeah. Um, of Jimmy. I think, honestly, his first game. Yeah. Like yeah. that was the just the tongue out going straight to text, giving him a yeah. big fuck off hug. Yeah, just that's, like yeah, love that's, you, mate. Yeah. Get around the yeah. boys. Good on your boys. Yeah, yeah. Like and that. maybe just um, watching Step Brothers on repeat. <laughs> 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 Layden, favorite moment? Uh, yeah, I would would have said the first game, but yeah. uh, I don't know. I feel like just the celebrations. I there's know. not many that were subdued. If you go through all the goals, they're literally yeah. There's like a f- there's like five that he was just like yeah high five. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ben, don't say him leaving because I swear. <laughs> no, that's him handing him a swipe, can I? <laughs> no, that's a painful memory. I'll go him with the ball at the end of the St Kilda game in 2021. Oh, yes. yes. And he was like telling everyone to calm down. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. The best part was that he was more drenched yeah. <laughs> then than he was at the start of the game after yeah. the shower. And it was just it was just the single fit. It was just like, we fucking did it. And, then he, did it. and then he goes and kicks a point. <laughs> Brilliant. That reminded me of Rory Atkins' 2018 yeah. showdown. Yeah. You know, it was after JJ kicks the goal. And <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just Rory Cat gets a ball, siren goes, and I was just like, it's going to be a fucking boy. Yeah. <laughs> it was a boy. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, I think, your I favorite think my moment. favorite. Oh, yeah, definitely the first goal would be one. Mm. Uh, I think my other one, which is a little bit more, I guess, something not that he did on field, but something I did out at the ground attending mm-hmm. was that in at the Richmond game uh, when Sloan got subbed off oh, I obviously yes. I was at the bar on the hill so I didn't realise that it was quite serious <laughs> and Eloise turns to me and she's like 
Rory's been stuffed off. I was like, oh my God. I said, Jimmy Rose on. And I'm staying in the bar. I'm like, Jimmy Rose on the field, Jimmy Rose. <laughs> and I'm like, woo! And I'm like, oh my God. Everyone else around me is probably thinking, why is this chick literally cheering for someone who yeah, just got yeah. severely injured? Oh. A short break, <laughs> be back soon. Aww. Oh no! So I've just pulled up uh, Jimmy Rose Swish page. Yeah. And no longer purchase said messages. Oh my Look god! Look how baby face he is in that photo. Oh, good on you, boy. Well, we got That's a rare so video then. Yeah. yeah. Is, no, is that an NFT? Up. Does that count as an <laughs> NFT? <now? laughs> yeah. He opens the bag up. He's charging like eighty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> or is he going to do what the uh, the fog does, where it's like two hundred dollars or something? Yeah. Some of them yeah. are so expensive. Yeah, but I think it's got to do with people charge that much to make it seem like it's exclusive yeah yeah, like yeah. If, if one dickhead does it fuck, it's worth it yeah ah. there's some cheapies on there though it's, yeah like jimmy was cheap but yeah <laughs> <laughs> now we need to talk about the other d listings which we will just blow through no i'm kidding <laughs> ben davis mm. yeah uh, six or seven seasons off the top of my head six i yeah. think six, <clears throat> about yeah. four too many he was delisted last year <laughs> and then got re-rookied didn't yeah he? So See again, this, this one does kind of hurt a bit because he is so wholesome. It's yeah. it's yep. the it's the vibes that they give off. Yeah. Like it's Marbo. Give him an ab, uh, admin job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. social Marbo. media manager. He would, <coughs> yes. Why doesn't he work in the social media department? Honestly, that's a great point. Actually, just on shit posting. Yeah, <laughs> imagine imagine, you know imagine on LinkedIn, Ben Davis, chief shit poster, <laughs> AFC. <laughs> Fuck, like, I'd, I'd run for That'd that. I feel like. Um, yeah, he would be great to target that younger demographic of yeah. fans on social yeah. media. On the tiki talkies. I don't think we quite reach that market very well. Mm. I look at clubs like Collingwood and yeah. that, and they meet it really well. It, yeah. Is it because we got, you know, some boomers? Probably. Yeah. yeah. But like I look <clears> at, I go on Twitter and I'm like, there's not many Crows fans that are under the age of 40. Yeah. Yeah. I think the club are getting there slowly. Getting like they the are, real definitely. Today, like, oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, now, obviously. Shout, I need to give a shout out to Vardy Magic. Vardy Magic messaged me on Twitter saying, what's be real? Let's be real. And I messaged it because I was in the middle of work and I was like, man, I don't know. It's just some young stuff. And I'm like, oh, God, actually, I'm old. I know. I've actually got to take my be real. <laughs> you got to do, so can you you do it with you crying or with the <laughs> Oh, so, so literally, what happens is no, so it's is, so the big part is like a reaction to, and the small part is what no, it no, takes no, a no, photo no, 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 of no. your front so what face happens, and camera, yeah, yeah. and so the back it goes camera off at the same time. It goes off in once a day, yeah. right? Right, and. You're, you're meant to take the photo within two minutes of the notification going off. So it's meant to say, you know, you're being real. Like, this is what you're really doing at this point of time. Like, you're not meant to, you know how everything what else. What if you're like, taking a shit? Instagram. Well, you're meant to post it. You know how, like, you have to wipe very quickly. Everyone, everyone <laughs> is like, obviously, you can post any time afterwards and it tells people that you've posted late, which is what this is going to do. Yeah. But, um. What the fuck? Really? That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's Hello. All it is. Yeah. Hello. Hello, random people. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to take so I'm going to take my be real. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. So back. at the present time, Jade is doing a be real, <laughs> and she's going to have to be real because are you okay? It's yeah. Okay. It's a bit okay. Fake though, okay. It's late. It's a, yeah, a little bit BF. But I'm come is that is that is that a word from the sure. kids? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So currently she's in front of the Jimmy Rose sign thing. Okay. Yeah, we better. T- you guys oh. As well. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to like pretend to cry or something oh, like that? No, it's so, so <laughs> sad. <laughs> Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> okay. This, uh, this I, think, is, I think she's doing it. This is great for a podcast. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's done the be real. That's Okay, yeah. okay. It's, 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 can you explain? I <laughs> know. Oh, but yeah, what, okay. <laughs> So yeah, what that, that's about? pretty normal for Layden. What are we talking about? Ben Davis. Ben Davis. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so Ben Davis, he six reminds, or seven seasons, yeah. as Ben has said, he four seasons too much. So much of like Tony Armstrong. I feel like yeah. he's like a good footballer. He did pretty well, but he's going to be way bigger off the field yeah. mm. in the future. So he's going to be on Sorry. ABC Breakfast yeah. National <laughs> saying, bulging dick. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah. my favourite thing. Yeah, it's great. Not bulging dicks. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, um, Stop talking. <laughs> anyway. anyway, anyway. And uh, number three, Brett Turner, picked up in the mid-season draft. Oh, yes. I'm bewildered by this. Now, they the club have said in that release that was at the unfortunate time while Jade was having a shower that uh, <laughs> they will pick him up again in the uh, rookie, pre, draft. Uh, rookie they, draft. They may. May. Oh. Say they will. Yeah. So but they've like they might they might see a good deal going on <laughs> <laughs> for someone else. Yeah. I mean the the amount of uh, hoopla around about Carmichael being picked up. <sighs> mm. 
and uh, we pick up Brett Turner, who was injured at the time. Objectively, he was injured. Um, and uh, now we've uh, de listened him after four months. Uh, I don't really rate it. Yeah. It's not a good look. We would want to be pick him back up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be very pissed off if I was him. Especially after he posted that thing after Theo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Theo said he was getting dirty yeah. and then he posted the Pinocchio. That's, a, that's <laughs> one of the first things. The club did him so dirty. <laughs> How dare you offend drop. <laughs> <laughs> we are to listing you now. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucked. It's, it's Theo in the corner just sharpening a knife. Just like, <laughs> I'll, get I'll get you. you. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go back to rating the Ben Davis one. So I'm, I'm giving that thumbs up. Yeah. 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 I give yeah. multiple thumbs up. He, yeah, had, mo- he had no multi- chance. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's the umpire at uh, oh, Subiaco yeah. <laughs> doing the thumbs up like that. That's before your time. So that's before. It. God, I'm yeah. the oldest one here. Yeah. Because it had the messages on hold in the background. Yes. <laughs> oh, Come man. on, give us some credit here. There's, yeah. there's a throw. Now. There's a throw. Now. Don't uh, mind me. <laughs> sorry. I thought that was someone at the door. No. Oh, we have, to, we have to talk about what Jade's wearing tonight. She's wearing Mr. Zimmy dress. Mr. Zimmy, yeah. Now, my Show wife has turned around and said, yeah, yeah, now the, the, the new favourite on the pod, Zori Elody. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Miranda. Mr. Zimmy, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Brett Turner, do we rate it or hate it? Hate it. Hate it. Yeah. Oh, he needs to be re-picked up just for to give him a chance more than half a season. Yeah. yeah. You know, that should be the title of the, of the pod, Theo versus <laughs> Turner. <laughs> Turner. <laughs> we talk about him for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Theo v. Turner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the mid-season draft, actually. I, yeah, I agree. If, if we have it, you should have to be signed on for an 18-month contract. Mm. Should, cool, cool. Six months yeah. should not be allowed. It should it's be a mid-season fair. trade is way better, way more exciting. Yeah. No, actually. I would much prefer a mid-season yeah. trade. Yeah. Wasn't the whole reason we didn't get Carmichael was because he wanted an 18-month contract? Like, we only wanted uh, to sign I feel like I months. did read that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just... I don't know. Yeah. I, I get the feeling, just like the whole Jehoof thing, there's something going on in the background. There must have been, you know, a bit of bad boy vibes, you know. <laughs> bad boy maybe, vibes. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just speculating. So I don't know. Maybe there's got to be a reason. Maybe Drop had some info on him. <laughs> and he's just yeah. like, no, no, I want Turner in. Turner's like, oh, fuck you. Fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 Pinocchio knows with it. <laughs> Gee whiz. All right. Oh. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more that's going to be happening in all things off-field at the club. Mm. But next up, Benny Mac, what do we got? AFL Women? We have got the yeah. AFL Women's Round 8, which was played at Metro... Well, not the whole round was played at Metricon Stadium on Friday <laughs> night. But the, uh, the main game that we're here to talk about was where we had our second loss for the season going down to Brisbane. 8-5, yeah. um, 53 to 4, 7-31. Just outclassed from the get-go, really. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we did have a pretty good first quarter. Like, we dominated it, but classic yeah. Crows couldn't kick straight. Kick bad. one goal, Kicking four. Kicking is bad football. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Cream. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, yeah. it was hard to watch. Yeah. I think. I mean, I don't know. We were just rushed in every facet of the mm-hmm. game. I feel like Brisbane's midfield pressure was very, very good. Yeah. The mm-hmm. whole game. They, they were on top, pretty much, all in the midfield. Speaking of on top... Um, uh, no, Where not that. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is no, it going? was um, uh, Chelsea Randall got her oh. ankle yes. crush, uh, three to five weeks that yeah. she's going to be out for now. That's yeah. been confirmed oh, today. Yeah. But um, there was a, a Brisbane player that should have been reported. Is any news on that? I don't. I haven't no, seen anything sure. about it. But yeah, she copped the el- like elbow, shoulder to the mouth. Yeah, and, and she was, got a split lip and stuff. Yeah, like and she was bleeding inside the mouth. Oh, and they were attending so to her mouth oh. because she was bleeding inside the <laughs> that, mouth. That's brilliant boundary writing. I mean, Jimmy Rowe couldn't even do that. <laughs> Point. I'm pretty sure I would be better than half these people. I'm so sorry, but I don't. Bad. I don't know what's happened to Sam Lane, but I really feel like her level has just dropped off. Like her, with the level that she used to be at, yeah, from yeah, a professionalism point of view, yeah. to now where it's like, yes, she is bleeding from inside the mouth. No, they are currently attending to inside her <laughs> mouth because she is bleeding from inside her mouth. Like. Bravo. Insightful. Yeah. Like, I, like I said in the chat, if she's bleeding from inside the mouth, but they're attending to her foot, there's a problem. <laughs> there's something wrong. <laughs> you know, it, it, just, it just didn't make sense. It's like you're not adding any value. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah no, not a very great performance yeah. by the girls, but I think we got caught holding the ball um, a fair bit and it was yep. all in like critical spots of the ground as well. Mm-hmm. Always right in front of goal or yeah. thing. It just... We couldn't really lock it right. in our forward half no. at all. And, and every time we got the ball, we'd try and just like, it was like, we had no plan to get yeah. it out and the person would just try and run. It was like instant tackle and... 
And I feel like Noffy, she worked really hard as she usually does, but every kick was like high, really high and only like 10 yeah. metres because of all yeah. the pressure that Brisbane had on us. Yeah. Yeah, it's frustrating I'm, to watch. Yeah, but I'm going to miss Chelsea though. Yeah. I know. So yeah. she's out three to four weeks. Three, yeah, yeah, three so to five. Best so case good. is she's back in for a like, potential like semi final. Yeah. But worst case, it's the grand final. Grand final. <laughs> if we make it, if we make it that far. Yeah, we'll be right. We're currently uh, equal fourth. Yeah. So if it stays as it is, as it is we'll have a qualifying and final against Brisbane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Sick. So we're not making it. <laughs> I didn't realise Collingwood was so far up the ladder, actually. I did. Yeah, yeah they'd, they'd Cream would be happy. Good. Yeah. But I feel like the draw has favoured a lot of the Melbourne-based teams, to be honest. No. Yeah, it's weird. So it ain't so. Are you telling me that Richmond only leave <laughs> once? <laughs> yeah. And that doesn't favour them? Yeah. There's uh. no such thing as big bias. Uh, no, on. never. <laughs> never. Um, with regards to the match review, no sightings from our match. So really? No wow. I thought at least a fine. I'm surprised by that, actually. It's just a bad look because you'd think in every other... Uh, AFL game that would get at least yeah. fine. If Noffy, if Noffy can get three weeks for standing still while someone yes. else runs into their stomach, oh that should get a week. Yeah, it should yeah. Game, game. It's not like <laughs> it's not like it was the other way around where the Brisbane player was on the bottom and yeah. like defending himself like the Barry and Oliver situation. Yeah, yes. yeah. No, I didn't quite get it. Now we had some thoughts about this, so if we go over to Twitter. Now, um, first off, we've got something to crow about, at crow underscore about, who just puts up the free kick count, 18 to 8. Mm, yes. The umpire, it was a away game. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think the umpiring factored that much into it. I think British yeah, pressure was yeah. just fantastic. They, I think they would have won either way. Yeah. yeah. And we've got Christy Banish, who may have not been on the beers for this one, who just said embarrassing. Crom <laughs> uh, Chad said sad. Uh, Paul Smith at Nikki underscore Paul says, elite pressure from Brisbane, some questionable decisions by the umpires, but that didn't decide the game. Couldn't yep. agree more. There you go. It's like you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Paul Smith. That's my burner account. Uh, Lulu <laughs> at uh, Perky 1982 says, costly second term, hoping Chelsea's ankle is not too serious. Brisbane are Ooh. very, very good. Need to expand comp to 17 rounds so the draw doesn't have such a massive impact on the top eight. Yeah. I don't know if I like that call just yet. Yeah, 17 rounds. Yeah, yeah. I get the idea about the draw not being uh, very fair, but yeah, not 17 rounds just yet. I feel no, like. yeah. no. Nah. We're, still, we're still dealing with the uh, rapid scalability of all the teams. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we got Mark Anderson. You said, how bad is Randall's ankle? Well, listen, about three minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> Tony Reynolds said, got crucified on the spread in both losses this year. Yes. Benny. Yes. Over on Facebook, we have got Anton who said, one-sided pathetic umpiring, and as we've said, probably a little bit harsh. Uh, Leanne says, just too good outran all day. Jürgen Goethe, Patreon and friend of the pod, says, simply... Outclassed. Mm. Mm-hmm. Brendan McGarrigan, friend and Patreon as mm-hmm. well, says Brisbane now rightfully Premiership favourites, but to the girls' credits, they didn't give up. Br- Brisbane were just too good. Mm-hmm. And Shahin Marty, speaking of good, says mm-hmm. pressure was lots. We played good, but they're better. Go Crom. That's I fair. like that. Good note to finish. Now, on. on Instagram, <clears throat> Christy Banish. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, <laughs> Horrible. So she was so, embarrassing. Yeah, embarrassing. Horrible. Horrible. Just one word Great answers to every words. Was, was there anything that she put on Facebook? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just to get, just another shame. adjective. <laughs> you know? yeah. uh, we got Tailed who says, it happens. Sometimes a loss is good as it becomes a wake-up call. Uh, Raylene, Raylene Wibalks. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, sensational game by the Lions. Kept the pressure on. Oh, she's a oh, fucking block you. <laughs> Lions <laughs> fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> And we got Eagles, 93061112. They said, dog act by Brisbane, number 12, with dropping the elbow on Randall. Yeah. yeah. yeah and memes about Crom said, should have taken chances early. No shit. <laughs> Who, um, oh, this might sound stupid. Who captains now that Chelsea's out? Do we have a vice captain? Noffy? I'll assume it'd be Noffy. Do we have a vice Maybe. captain? Yeah, I think it might be Sarah Allen. Yeah, that would make sense. I, feel, I remember her tossing the coin in the past. Mm. But I don't know whether... We have, we might have a few different vice captains. Yeah. They're going to do the rotation like the men's team. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. Everyone gets a week. Except Rob. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to do it. Leave me alone. (laughs) Oh, God. All right. Now, 
Okay. I need to go back. Oh, sorry. So hmm. we've got a five-person leadership group with Chelsea as the captain, followed by Noffy, Eloise Jones, Sarah Allen and Stevie Lee Thompson. So one of those Well, four. there you go. Yeah, we are doing the rotating. Mm. <laughs> nice. Maybe we just do four captains. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the co-co-co-captain. <laughs> we're, like we're Sydney. We're born GWS. Yeah, yeah GWS. <laughs> Who was it? Was it Brisbane one year that had like seven? Oh, they had, um, yeah, yeah, like co vice captains. It was like, what the hell? Yeah, like half nice. the ground is captain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just spreading the blame a bit. <laughs> spread, <laughs> spread <laughs> in the, literally half, the, half the captain. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's past my third man. You held the captain in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, um, I need to go back to Twitter um, purely because we did ask for thoughts on the delistings. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Oh, okay, well, I'll get back to My um, <laughs> 10 burner accounts all replied. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Was, was one of your burner accounts uh, this account? Was it, uh, it didn't happen to be at a crow at skinny penis 6996. <laughs> yes, that was me. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, I love. I tried to make it subtle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you go to their profile, and it's and the bio says, "Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you, skinny penis? Yeah, who are you, skinny penis? <laughs> That's anyway. why I was asking. Like, yeah. It, uh, so uh, little Nick Pesh says, "I like the culture and love for the jumper Jimmy brought to the club and his want and drive, but just lacking the AFL level talent." Nah, that's not changing. Mm. I like the first part. Yeah, the I think first. he has the talent, but just wasn't able to sh- show and prove it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we've also got Jade at Wallflower. Jade, who says, "Don't even fucking ask me." I know. And did you see? I actually wrote. I actually wrote, "Don't fucking asking me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't even fucking asking me. <laughs> that was me standing in the bathroom with my hand over my mouth, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> You're out of the shower, fetal position, just lying, <laughs> lying on the floor. Just don't even fucking ask me. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've got Kirk Shearer who says, Jimmy Rowe, Shirley worth a trade? Shirley? Shirley. 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 Sorry, I'm, I'm talking Shirley. like you. Don't even <laughs> fucking asking me. Uh, we've got Christy Bainish who said more than one word this time. Jimmy, a little stiff. Shame he couldn't make it at AFL level, to be honest. It's probably why it took so long for him to be drafted. Ben Davis has been delisted before, so not surprised. And also she's a Patreon too. Thank you, Christy. Man O'Brien says, at turd X Ferguson 27. <laughs> That's me too. <laughs> 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 right, of course, he's such a great character, but was right for the team. I couldn't have done it to him. And yep. he, does, he does a little, I agree. He does a little puss in boots from Shrek. Yes, you know? that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's literally me. Oh. <laughs> uh, I really upset about Ro going, says Sally. That's uh, my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it has to be. <laughs> Hi, Sal. <laughs> yeah, oh, but God. it wasn't Sally who tweeted that. Jade took her phone and just jumped. My mum did, did comment on the Facebook one. Did she? Yeah. Oh, Benny Mac, get over there. We need to hear from <laughs> Sal. Um, as long as she doesn't talk about how she fixed up Rochelle. Hey, uh, no. M- Mike Newdown says, why so late? Could have got something for Rowie Turner. No way. Should be retained. Davis is a fringe player. Too good, yet not good enough. On, on that. Mm-hmm. Do, do they think we just didn't try and get something? Yeah. Are we like, is it, ah, uh, no, we just didn't. Like if, We're yeah. offering him with everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, like, seriously, what would we have got back for him? Like, literally, yeah. maybe a future third, third, fourth. It's not even worth it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we've got Michael B-Man, who says, super disappointed. And we've got um, <clears throat> Come Shot Chimave. That's also said, me. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right, cool. Feel like they will redraft Turner. It's probably not fit to... Give someone six months and flick. Feel he's not good enough, though. So okay, no, that's not me because I said that was the right call. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> and then we've got Steve W80 who says, Jimmy gone. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a funny joke. Yeah, got it. Jimmy gone. I just <laughs> went with Jimmy Crom. And we've got uh, Dom <laughs> Trimboli who said, draft Adam DeLoyer. Okay, well represented. <laughs> uh, Christoph Fonsky says, probably the most predictable and obvious thing that's happened in the AFL of months. I would not agree with that. Hmm. <laughs> The most predictable thing the AFL had done in months. No. I would have thought the release of some sort of PR bullshit before the Hawthorne news got dropped was the most predictable thing. As soon as that came out, I was like, there's something smoking here. And mm. then the whole Hawthorne stuff dropped. It was like... Ooh. Rip. Yeah. Rip. Rip. Uh, rest in pepperoni. Uh, he liked the pace for the AFL, was another person, and... Uh, yeah, that's really the theme of everything that's on there. Mm. Benny Mac. Yeah, Facebook isn't as kind. Oh. I'll be perfectly honest. We start with Whoa. Brian Strawny Smith, who says Jimmy Rowe equals potato. What? Jeez. What? Very. He's, they're very saying harsh. he's delicious. 
<laughs> oh yeah, another one of Jade's words. Come on, a potato is pretty bloody versatile. Yeah. See, yeah, he's yeah. versatile. He can yeah. play right. You can, you can fry. <laughs> you can, you can mash him as well. Where's the fucking? Where's it? Where's the guy? Yeah. I'm gonna stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. Go you can on. stick your dick into it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh, he's- <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, keep going. <laughs> Brendan Patreon Drew Corner says, I'm more upset over Benny Boy crying, 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 mm. and that Turner got dropped too. So he didn't even mention Jimmy in his comment. Oh, oh. Drew. Drew. We've got. Look out, mate. Drew right angle. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Top fan of the page, Tom Williamson, who just says, Boys. Oh. What? Like Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, boys. good on yeah, you, boys. boys. <laughs> Get around the boys. Um, Tom's Fuck, I'll miss him. <laughs> <laughs> Just want my bay back. <laughs> Tom Swain says, all the best to him, but I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> uh, I should text him. <laughs> <laughs> Just catch it. When Bindo? <laughs> and lastly, we have Sal Hickey who says, hey. Jade is devo and... And crying emojis um, afterwards. Yeah, she even tagged me in the comment, I think. Yeah, she did. Mm, that's really wholesome. Good on you. Good on you, mama. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, uh, we were going to interview a very recent obscure crow. Miles Paholke was going to be on, and we we're going to call him right now. The Poochie. I, yeah, Poochie. Um, unfortunately, he did have to return to his home planet. Ah, um, classic. He, he just mentions, oh, I've got something, something else has popped up. I don't know mm. what. It's probably Hungry Jacks. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> we'll be meet and greet Hungry Jacks. <laughs> 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 With Matt Crowley. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's just at a random drive through in like Traralgon or something like that. It's a rento shark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, here you go. It's just his family going through. Saying, Don't touch me, sir. <laughs> oh my God. I oh, love you, Poochie. Uh, anyway, we'll have you on next week, buddy. Now, Benny Mac, we've got the Patreon as well, don't we? We do. So you can head over to patreon.com forward slash project to uh, listen to various different episodes of the mm. pod if you love our original. If you don't love our original, maybe you'll like a different one. <laughs> <laughs> Go over and listen to some Obscure Crow, which we recorded yeah. a few of last week, and I believe the Nick Pesh episode went oh, yes. publicly. Ye- uh, public? Maybe? No, publicly on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, you have to pay. <laughs> we, we're still this running is behind a paywall. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, yeah. Uh, my wife listened back to it, and she said she hasn't laughed slash cringed in a very long time. <laughs> That's saying something. She's been married to me for almost 12 years. You, so. you painted a very good story, to be fair, of Nick yeah. Pesh. And- mm-hmm. It's quite, <laughs> quite interesting. Um, but you can also head over and listen to exclusive interviews like Chelsea Bedell, which did yeah. go up publicly. Yeah, excellent so, interview yeah. that uh, Damon did there. Yeah, absolutely. You've got the uh, Get Your Crow On. Yes, mm-hmm. you've got the back catalogue of those episodes. Yeah. Beautiful. The Graham Corns archive as well. Yeah. The GCA. <laughs> That's going to go uh, National Film Sound Archive. So during my holiday, I'm actually going to be cataloguing the whole thing. Nice. Yeah, what a Fun. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can go back and listen to all of my losing tips on Benny and the Bets, which has stopped for the off season. Mm, Thank God. Thank <laughs> fuck for that. <laughs> yeah, the college football calls have stopped too. I don't know why. Yeah, no, nah, that's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> NBA <laughs> starts this week, but let's not yeah, go into yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Bucks. Yeah, go uh, Bucks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so head over there at patreon.com forward slash project, sign up for $2 a month, $5 a month, or $10 a month. Get a beanie. Uh, get a beanie. Mm. No, you don't get a beanie. No, <laughs> you get, now. Yeah, get bottle, bottle opener, <laughs> lanyard, stubby holder, and a Crojet Cordy. Oh, yeah. Crojet Cordy. Nice. The CCs. The only way to keep Damon away from my house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like sage and garlic you know, for the vampire, you know. <laughs> And thank you very much to all of our patrons mm. who are at that $10 or over tier. So we will cross to Jade to read out the name Whoa. of the lovely patrons. Oh, my gosh. Do I have to, can I not say the last names? I'm scared I'll fuck them up. Yeah, we do, you, do you do want that. me to say the last names? <laughs> I don't, I'll say the first name. Yeah, yeah, yeah good okay, ready? Ready? All right, we'll flag this one just in case. All right, <laughs> but here great. we go. <laughs> ready? Dave. Cannavale. Jake. Bokove. Ray. Ohara. Ben. Piero. Sophie. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> Drew Corn. Sam Curtis Sean Davies I hope I said that right James Paine Michael <laughs> Bornholm <laughs> Shine Marty Good Jezza Withers Lachlan Dan Well 
in. <laughs> Brendan. Garrigan. Woo! And a big thank you to everyone else for supporting us as well, including Jade. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's not like you had to pay for your seat. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's all good. Thank you to our sponsors, Sorry, the Famous Coffee after. and Panini. Yeah. <laughs> Checks in the mail. And the beanies that Leighton was talking about a moment ago, Pete, where can you go over and buy those? So if you do... Patreon.com forward slash project. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, what was that name again of Patreon? <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash project. Thank you very much. Uh, if you go to project.bigcartel.com, you can get yourself a uh, crom beanie, crom scarf, crom cordy, which is on back order at the present time. We're very sorry. Uh, garden steaks. Yeah, the garden steaks, Guernsey. Yeah, get yours. They're mm. selling like hotcakes. Not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've, we actually genuinely only have a few left of those. So once they're gone, gone. That's it. Gone. Gone. Shout out to uh, Sophie Damon as well. We bought one very recently. Uh, and, and I just thought I'd circle back to Patreon as we will in the off season be releasing a new recall. We've done the grand final yeah. one. And we're going to do another random obscure game very soon. Yeah. Have we picked? I think I keep no. changing my mind. <laughs> yeah. That's there's the many, problem. There's too many good ones to choose from. We are going to do a live of that. Yeah. We're going to do, that's going to be a live recall. So we're actually going to storyboard and everything. I've actually, I've, so at work when I get bored. Um, <laughs> How often is that? Yeah, I did four, four or five times an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I start storyboarding things. I'm just like, yeah, that sounds good and everything. Then I forget it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a book. <laughs> I Peter's ideas. It's probably things about potatoes on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 One page. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. No, not really. Anyway, but we are going to do a live. It's going to be a full production and everything. We're going to have a, a boundary reporter as well. Damon, you're going to do that. Uh, <laughs> No, actually, no, legit, we're going to go all out. All right, we're going to go full production. And a quarter is part of the uh, on-set apparel. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. Has to be facing forwards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Dave. Anyway, yeah. Beryl and Cecil of the week. There have been a few Beryls and Cecils oh, of the yeah. week with the delistings, with some yeah. other delistings from other clubs. Can I just ask, before we get into it, why every person who gets delisted on the on Adelaide Crows by the form, get him in. <laughs> <laughs> because Mitch Wallace we'll is him. being dropped from the dogs. Let's get him get in. Him we'll in. have him. Sydney <laughs> Stack, I want him. Oh, He's good at the kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need someone who brawls at 3 a.m. Hey! <laughs> Stacks on. <laughs> we need some more bad boys. I'll yeah. take him. Yeah. Bring him in. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> we need more off-field culture. <laughs> yeah, Not yeah. the good variety. <laughs> <laughs> so we start with Jamie, and he has posted the Sydney Stack 2019 <laughs> highlight reel. Oh. <laughs> saying, get him in. Yeah. yeah. Does it show Eddie Betts kicking almost goal of the year on him as well? <laughs> that would be his biggest highlight of Yeah, I was going to say. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we move on to Harry, who says, I'm happy we didn't get rid of Crouch. Here's to hoping he redeems himself in 2023. Yeah, McGarry is on the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about as much redeeming as I think Matt will be doing next year. Aww. We continue with the theme of delisted players. Mark says, is Riley Collier Dawkins worth a look? Has just been delisted or desolated is what he's put in his <laughs> post here by Richmond. A big-bodied midfielder, and I appreciate we have Hately, but not sure how he is going to go. I do like Hately, but need to be in ball full time. Sounds like you like Hately a lot, so we're going to yeah, get someone else yeah, in to replace yeah. Hately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. But he's been desolated. What does, what does that mean? Is that a technical term? Is it de-isolated? <laughs> it sounds like someone's come out of COVID protocol. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you've been de-isolated. Yeah, you've been de-isolated. It was a false test, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three PCRs, you're negative. Yeah, come on, get, uh, come yeah. on out. Get right. out of the hotel. <laughs> now you're playing for the Crows. <laughs> oh, damn it. I want to go back in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take me back into the pool. When, you know. <laughs> uh, on the uh, delisting post, and this could be one of Jade's burner accounts. Oh. We don't know. Judy says, Adelaide, you're losing it. Time I started following another side. Rowie, hope you get picked up with another club and show Adelaide what they let go. Devil emoji, devil emoji. Yeah, that's me, baby. <laughs> See, the part of that that I don't understand, after 2020, this is what's the tipping point. Yeah. After, after what Tex, you know, said, you know, um, allegedly and factually as well, after, you know, the whole camp thing. No, Rowie... His Highness on high. It's for despicable. Those, for those watching on YouTube as well, I'm pointing. <laughs> I'm pointing to the beautiful Guernsey as well. Yeah. Um, this is the tipping point. It is. What's the other team that they're going to go to? Someone who doesn't delist Rowie. Ah. 
<laughs> the guy in the Bulldogs. Someone Bulldogs who keeps picking him all up. of their fringe players. Yeah. So not central distance. Well, we kind of did do Bulldogs. that in 21 when we signed all those contracts. <laughs> anyway. Whoopsie. There are a lot of out of contract players. What's Next wrong with year. the dragon? Yeah. 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 Well, the nicknames is what's wrong with it. <laughs> The nickname that no one had ever heard of before. Yeah. The announcer is re-signing both. <laughs> the one guy at the club that gave himself his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he kept hearing the answer all the time. <laughs> like, he kept listening to it. What's us. the answer, Dragon? <laughs> was that just his favourite band? Dragon. Could be. Maybe. Imagine. Mm. Yeah. Imagine Dragon. Oh, man. And That's on that one. bombshell, I'll just finish <laughs> Beryl and Cecil, lastly, we have Scott on Twitter who posted, oh, Adelaide Crows fans, where do you sit in the hierarchy of supporters? And it's a poll that he's created here. Are you a hooligan? <laughs> Meaning yeah. you like to fight on match day. Yeah, that's literally me. Are you a happy clapper? You never... <laughs> <laughs> that's also me. <laughs> you never say a bad word and are happy with everything. <laughs> Love Are the you boys. a Mona <laughs> fan? Do you moan about everything? <laughs> I think you want to be thinking of the ABC thing when he did this. <laughs> well, are you a passionate fan? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all sex? And you want the Why are they all sex related? <laughs> That's okay. He posted it at noon. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> oh, so, uh. oh, was there a reply to that one? Um, he's received 82 <laughs> votes, to be fair to him, with 76% of people saying that they're a passionate fan. To be honest, I think I did vote. I think I'm a hooligan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hooligan. 10% are Mona fans. <laughs> and uh, 7% split between happy clappers and hooligan fans. <laughs> oh, I'd just like God. to say after seven votes, there was a comment from the original poster saying, seven votes so far and I love the honesty. One Mona and one happy clapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, my oh, God. That's oh a contender from Baron of the Year. That is up there. funny. Oh, Although, got... I, do, I have to read out this one from Lindy. <laughs> the tweet oh, yes. wrote, uh, so <laughs> Lindy has blocked me like twice in the last two days <laughs> because I shared the video of uh, Stephen Rowe calling Jimmy Rowe's goal in that Geelong game, his first goal, and I said, I'm fucking crying. What the fuck? And she said, actually, what did she say to me? <laughs> She was not pleased with my language at all. She said, she said, do you have to swear? Is awful. You are a lady. And then she did a thinking emoji and an angry emoji. Lindy strikes me as a happy clapper. I was like, wow. Then she actually tweeted me oh, the night before. I said, at the casino wasting money in this economy. She said, you're lucky to have money to waste. Wow, okay. It's okay. She hasn't worked since 2008. <laughs> and that's on my Twitter. I uh, just, just want to wait. She that's tweeted a, me on that's the, a fact. She also tweeted me earlier in the day when I posted my thing saying, thank you, Jimmy. She said, good for you. Not happy with this. <laughs> but this is my favourite. She tweeted 5AA this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> Disgusting what they have done. You're right. We loved him. Just wondering if AFC will refund me on all the stuff I bought with his number. I love the Roy family. <laughs> Bloody sad. What happened to the father and son rule? <laughs> <laughs> no. The father and son rule means even though he wasn't picked up as a father yeah. son, yeah, yeah. You it means you can forever. never be delisted. I, I reckon she bought a lot of Ben Jarman. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> I was going to say Ben Jarman and um, what was the Edwards boy? Harry Edwards? Yeah. 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 Club rooms because yeah. father son rule. <laughs> boy, I thought they couldn't retire or be delisted ever. <laughs> <laughs> You're there forever. You're here for life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dad, do it. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You should look... If you're listening to this, go to YouTube. You need to see the last five minutes. That's just us just like, oh, no. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Now, thank you to Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini for sponsoring Bella and Cecil Louis. And, of course, us as well. Now, Leighton. Yes. There's a game coming up. At there a very is. convenient time. Yes, 5.10 p.m. this Friday afternoon. Woohoo! At, at, <laughs> at Unley Thriller. Oval. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> The Crows playing uh, back-to-back Friday night games. I wonder what that's happened before. Yeah, we, love the, we love the FNG. Yeah. Remember that for Big Brother? Friday night game. Oh, Bits my God. Oh, the they were the best. That's all, that's all Why I've Why do they still uh, – they need to bring that back. Just my, the games. My favourite yes. part was the slide. Um, uh, yeah. The, 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 no, they had the, – yeah, the slide, and it just said FNG. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like they got rid of the U. The <laughs> 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 Fucking! Fucking! I remember my dad saw that. It was like 2004 or something. I was just watching it. It was like after a Friday night game or something. Like, Is it the the Big Brother up late? 
it was the Friday night Big Brother up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just literally, it was just like fun and game. It was like Wipeout. But with the contestants. Yeah, yeah. They were so good. It was pretty good. Yeah. But then all my dad saw a girl, he was just fucking. And he's like, <laughs> and he said, I'm not even joking. Are you watching SBS again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Oh. But, uh, oh sit God. there and off it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Geelong, we are playing yes. at Unley, uh, the Friday Night Spectacular. Uh, and that's messed up. That's, yeah, 510. I don't think. Peak hour traffic. A, there won't be a great crowd. No. Surely not. But get down there, get down to see the Rainbow Crows. Yes. Gang as well, who we're sponsoring now. So There'll uh, just be flags out the window stuck in peak hour traffic. They're like, no, <laughs> we're supporting them. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like going down to Amy Stadium back in the day. Yeah. Friday night. Friday night. Ho down. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, a, it wasn't the last final that was played. There's 2012 one and it was yes. a f- no Fremantle no Fremantle like Fremantle because we lost against Sydney or yep. we got obliterated oh Sydney. yes Texas five card trick yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. it was like the crowd was like 35,000 yeah because everyone was just like yeah, I think we're fucked <laughs> <laughs> but the, I remember going to that game the traffic was really really bad because everyone was trying to get to I don't know semaphore <laughs> so dogs it was a good night it was a good night it was a good night you know Wins five to ten knots, you know. <laughs> Sees half to one metre. I don't know. Anyway. All right. Let's get to this game. So, did Geelong win on the yes, weekend against West Coast? they won against West Coast by nine points. Ooh. And they are just behind us on the ladder with the same amount of wins. Oh, We're shit. just above them on percentage. Oh, it was a grudge match. So, it's an important game. Mm. The, mm, nah, we'll win. Yeah, fuck. No, all right. Yeah, we'll win. We're yeah, the, their win loss looks good, but realistically, they haven't played that many great teams. Like they've beaten West Coast, they've beaten St Kilda. Yeah. I think the highest team they've beaten on the ladder was the Bulldogs. Yeah, they Bulldogs. Beat they beat. Point. They won by a point. Yeah, but mm. yeah, to be honest, they're a very good defensive side. But I don't see it holding up against us. To be honest, Chelsea out hurts, but yeah, should probably still get the job. Next girl in. Yeah, who do you reckon Will comes in back. for a? I don't know if Customer gets is, another run. Is Waterhouse yeah. back? She was suspended, wasn't, wasn't she? Wasn't she just one game? Wasn't yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, she was. But they didn't bring her back in last week. That's because mm. Eloise came back in, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Taught her everything. She'll come in. Yeah, Waterhouse, come on. The Wombat. Yeah, Waterhouse, the Wombat. The Wombat. The Wombat. <laughs> the wombat. That's, my, that's my new nickname for yeah. her now. The After Wombat? They called, yeah, because... Um, in one of the Brisbane games, they called one of the commentators called Daniel Rich. Like he's built like a wombat. <laughs> like he's just so. Uh. <laughs> and I was like, she's just so. Uh. Yeah. She just gives those vibes. And all the soccer in as well. It's great. Yeah. 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 She'll kick two there. soccer goals on the weekend, I reckon. Yeah, Lock she will. <laughs> is there a market? Leading goal scorer. Yeah. yeah <laughs> ben, if there is, don't fucking touch her. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be part of Ben's event. So uh, get on. <laughs> nah, yeah, Jess will ask. She'll be back as well. She'll be back. She'll be back. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, obviously an important game. We want to win that to try and cling on to that fourth spot because after that we've got St Kilda and that's the last round. Oh. <sighs> Two Finals wins. coming round real quick. Do they have a break? I don't think the there one. is. I don't think oh. there's a bye week. So I think it's straight, which doesn't help with Randall <laughs> coming back. Mm. So if we finish fourth we'll, as at, the, at this stage, we'll play Brisbane probably <laughs> at the Gabba. In the qualifying final, but then if we even if we lose that, we'll play a semi. Actually, it'll probably be at Metricon because the pitches will be in at the Gabba. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Mm. For the cricket mm. that no one's going to go to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey now. Hey, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the hey. for beating Sri Lanka yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. World Cup. Yeah. Did you know the T Twenty World Cup started? Yep. No, I didn't yes. realise. You only know that because you're betting on it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't actually. Man, this twenty seven leg bowl is going to get at me. <laughs> <laughs> Cricket's dying in the ass, and I hate to see it. Hey. No, no, hey, I love cricket. I love cricket. Oop. Yeah. There we go. All right. Get him, boys. Yeah. Oh, got an ambulance Woo. driving past. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's on the way to Cricket Australia, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said it a couple of years ago, Cricket Australia. Yeah. It's, yeah. Give it 10 years, it's going to die. Yeah. I, th- I think it's getting to the point where it's not going to... Especially for me, I like, I've lost so much interest for the Big Bash. Yep. I know, and it sucks, and I love the Big Bash, <laughs> yeah. but it's just... The crowd numbers are so poor. I think the way no games. atmosphere. Well, Too you got you yeah. got Channel oh. Seven though that's suing Cricket Australia to get out of their contract. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Ooh. Yeah. So that's a bit orkies. So Jeez. now it's only going to it's gonna, only going to be on Fox. Not a lot of people are going to watch it. It's going to go the same way as Rugby Union. Yeah. That sucks. I love cricket. I love One Day Internationals. It's one of my favourite things in the world. Mm. It's a leisure game, but mm-hmm. it's 
It's going to die in the ass. Yeah. I see so they're even charging for Sheffield Shield games now. Yeah, 10, buck, 10 bucks yeah. a day, I think. Yeah. yeah. And their excuse, I heard that on uh, they, need, they, they would need the money, yeah. though. That's the thing. But they're yeah. saying, oh, it's to see world class cricket. And it's like, yeah, but. <laughs> it's been where? Great. If it's world class, <laughs> it would be an international game. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a domestic game. It's yeah. not world class when it's Adelaide versus Sydney or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we get. How do we get oh, we're talking about pitches. Yeah. 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 So AFLW finals, yes. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) back to that. Now, let's go around the table. Jade, who wins by how much and leading goal score? Uh, Mm. Okay, Adelaide are going to win. Oh, like it. And we are going to win by... Four points. Oh, no. I can't Four handle that. Four points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say it's happening. And Waterhouse is going to be our leading goal scorer. All right. I like that. I like that. Yeah. She's going to kick two goals, one. Two, one. Two goals, one. Okay. Two goals, yeah. one. Big she won't even get selected after I've said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you like it's a, a bold call. It's a bold call. I like it. Um, Crows win by 35 points. Oh. Whoa. And... Uh, let's go Ash Woodland to kick the most goals with three. Mm. Mm. Fair enough. Later. Uh, just looking at the forecast, it says 21, no rain. So, oh, so it's going to be mud pit because I left the sprinklers on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But yeah, no, Ge- Geelong won't be used to this, this weather. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too hot. What's yeah. that thing in the sky? It's the sun, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Geelong will be bamboozled and... <laughs> Crows to win by three goals, and I go Ponter with three okay. to be the difference. Yeah, well, now there's daylight savings. It's literally going to be light the whole game. Yeah. yeah. Starting so, at 5. Yeah, there you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys walking by, they're off to 205. Anyway. <laughs> um, no comment. Yeah, no comment. No comment. Uh, allegedly. Anyway, I'm going to go Crows by 50. Oh, okay. Whoa. I like it. I'm going to say. Who's going to say it? I reckon Hatchie's going to put a kick in boots on. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. That's good. With four. Now, what before the game, I reckon got, Georgie is going to braid her hair. Uh-huh. And once the braids are back, the corn braids, yep. it's going to yeah. be like Bo Derek and 10. It's going to be perfect corn braids. Yeah. And for every row, she's going to kick a goal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I like that. that. Watch a kick now. I and, like that. And we've got to watch out on Ashley Woodland's headbands. Yeah. I reckon she's going to have like 10, so they can't move. She's going she's gonna to do what my daughter does, where she, uh, Georgia likes to put them all on her arm. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. Miranda's going around, and like, where the fuck's all my headbands? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, oh dear. So we'll be doing a competition on Instagram as well for you guys to win yourself some merch as well for Nearest the Pin for that game as well. Now, um, I guess uh, anything else that we need to talk about tonight? Just to make sure to listen it when you're driving home and pick our traffic, <laughs> listen to the game, Sam Tugwell's yes. full coverage of the game. Amen. I assume he's covering it. I don't know. <laughs> no, he will be. It's hey, a, it, so they cover all the home oh. games, AFLW home oh, games that in good. Adelaide. So, so they don't Port try. Adelaide and Crows yeah. games. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, just on that, yeah. seeing Port having their home game at Alberton and it was pretty much packed out. Yeah. I hate Port with a passion. But the fact that they had their home game yeah. packed out, yeah. that's what I want at Very Liberty. good. Very good. Fucking awesome. Very good. It's just good for the competition. Yeah. Like, it's all right that they're losing. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> like, <it's good>. yeah. <laughs> and they lost too. <laughs> But a lot of people went, so yeah, 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 good yeah support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even better that more people went. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they need the money. <laughs> Didn't they have their thing about you can uh, help to pay off some of their debt? Oh. Oh. Who got the email from yeah. Ticketmaster? No. Yeah, I did. What was this? I didn't receive one of these magical emails. What's so this? I'm convinced Port bought half of the Ticketmaster distribution list in Adelaide. <laughs> oh. Because you got, got an it. email. I did, and yeah. it was just a summary of like Port's 2022 season. And I thought I thought it was a prank. I thought... <laughs> I went, went to the missus and I was just like, why did you put me on the, on the mailing list for Port? Uh, no, it turned out it uh, hit all of us. Have you bought any tickets to a Port game? I though? was about to say, as I thought, that last showdown. Did you buy tickets? Mm. Yeah, because RAA crows, see? that bloody code. Yeah, because see, I paid I nothing. Also, <laughs> I also <laughs> bought tickets to Port, <laughs> Port Giants earlier in the uh, year. And I, my. so I feel like maybe when you, yeah. when you buy a ticket, you're signed up to the mailing. Oh. No, I still think it's a conspiracy. I think Port bought the tickets. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They need the tickets. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. we'll go with that. Oh. Other than the logical answer. Yeah. You need to pay for Jason on Francis somehow. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, juicy. <laughs> There's one thing you didn't talk about and it's not on here and I'm actually pretty disappointed oh. it's not on here. The Ben Keys photo. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Okay, hello. look, I love, I love Ben Keys, but I'm not making him my next favourite because he will leave. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we haven't I talked about it. Who's going to be your next favourite now? Well, I really want it to be Ben Keyes, but I'm too <laughs> scared he will leave. Yeah. I mean... Don't pick a good player. <laughs> the drip You'll factor in this is just... Yeah, the photo. Yeah. Every off-season, we just get a photo of one of our players looking what? pretty damn good with their shirt off. Last year, it was yeah. Fog on the training mm, track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My Keyes. real question is, why did... Sheesh! <laughs> Um, <laughs> potato. <laughs> You're delicious. Oh, oh that potato's <laughs> boiling. <laughs> uh, my real question is, I want to know, why did Ben take his other brother and not Jordan to the, um, was that the brown low? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Family beef. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, the fact that we tweeted at Jordan, do you see the tweet that yeah, we put I up? Did, yeah, and, and we said, oh, geez, can you tell your brother to leave some for the rest of us? And you said, oh, he's been taking it away for the last 25 years or I something. Know. Like, oh. Can you ask him why? Beef. <laughs> can you ask him why um, Ben didn't invite him to the brown low? Oh, yeah. Okay. That should could I, be a touchy subject. Should I DM him that or something like that? Or I don't know. Nah, fuck it. I'll just tweet it out legit. Be like, boop, because I know boop, they boop. posted the photo. Oh, I don't know how old the brother is, so I don't want to say too much. But um, <laughs> they posted the photo. I was like, mm, who is that guy? Mm, mm, and then mm, mm, mm. Jordan was like, oh, so someone tweeted Jordan and asked, and he was like, oh, it's the other brother or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've just gone to the uh, Project DMs, and I just got this one from uh, Valda who said, looking for a man with ambition and career, contact WhatsApp. <laughs> that is totally you. Except. <laughs> <laughs> What's the phone number? <laughs> Piss off, Valder. <laughs> Go to my main account. <laughs> now, I'm going to be having the next few weeks off. Uh, going to be going to the US to see my wife's family, but I will be going to some of the Arkansas Razorback football games as well. Oh. Can't wait for that. Uh, You've got to send us reports from the boundary line, like two-minute yeah. recording. I want you with a bowl of mashed potatoes outside Razorback. Yes. Family. So, for <laughs> Halloween, we're going to be over there for Halloween, and yeah. I, That's great. I'm dressing up as Bobby Petrino. At the press conference, there's a long story behind this. Bobby Petrino, basically in 2012, uh, Arkansas was number one in the nation in football. Then in April 2012, he got, he crashed his motorbike in a ditch by himself. Oh. And he turned up to the press conference wearing a neck brace and a hat with all bruised up <laughs> saying, oh yeah, yeah, I was by myself and everything. Then they FOI the police report. Turned out he was with a blonde staffer who was giving him a wrist job and get paid them $30,000 as hush money. Jeez. He quit the team. The team went four and eight that year and everything went to shit. <laughs> so what are you doing oh. in the off season then? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, um, so, yeah, I'm going as Bobby Petrino before, before he got there. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. But taking a bowl of mashed potatoes with me as well. <laughs> yeah. And the only one's going to laugh is my brother-in-law, Jeff, and Jeff will be listening to this as well. <laughs> He's made it this far. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's going to be happening. Hopefully, I'm going to be doing some talks as well with uh, Max Fletcher, uh -huh. who's the punter for Arkansas yeah. as well. So we're uh, going to be doing a little bit of a collab with Marmalade as well for that. So uh, I'll be over there as the US correspondent. Nice. <laughs> Good luck to me. Jeez. Yeah. Now, at the end of the pod as well, we're going to be having uh, Eddie from Clarksville as well. He did another phone call about the BYU game. It's going to be obscure. You're going to listen to that. And like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? But that's what I'm going into very soon. But uh, anything else to talk about, uh, guys and ladies at all? No? No? I don't no. think so. Okay. Anything else you want to say about Jimmy? Just yeah. At all? Yeah. <gasps> Play the music. Yeah, play. <laughs> get to the music. Now, seriously, though. What do you need to sign? Well, just get it off your chest. Get it. Just say it, Jane. Just tell us. Tell us. I don't know what to say. I just... I actually am going to miss him. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, he goes to another good team. And can, can you go and hug? I'm just, still just go and hug it. Just give, no, I'm give not doing that. Oh. Oh. That's not fair. Oh, okay, that's that's yeah. that's that's project it's after um, dark. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night game. Oh. <laughs> oh. But no, I am very sad to see him go. I did hope he would stay. If you asked me at like the start of the year, if I even thought he would be leaving, oh. I would not have even considered it for a second. Yeah. So. It's very sad. Look, hopefully the other ones on the list will do well. <laughs> you can't even say it with a straight face. 
<laughs> so um, you do well, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. Uh, it's um, you know, it's, <laughs> you're just booing at the game. Just I'm like, just like <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. All I can imagine is that they're on holiday right now yeah. and just Harry Schoenberg's just standing at the end of the bed just like, you've been doing this <laughs> again. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm I'm very sad about it. I don't know what I'm going to... Liking Jimmy Rowe became my whole personality this year. So now I'm going to be boring as fuck next year. Well, you have to you have to pick someone. What about Ben Keys? Sheesh. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, you don't want him to leave. I don't want him to leave. <laughs> but, no, I do love Jimmy. I'll still love Jimmy. Mm. Hopefully he goes to Bulldogs, mm. plays really well. Yep. He has a second life. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He does. But we do have one more thing to raise before we finish. Oh. Oh, the uh, Canary Yellow BT1 has driven off into the sunset oh. as well. Oh, yeah. How did we not mention that earlier? Speaking of departures, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay, this is, this is my point. Hmm. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> My favourite memories of Billy was, of course, the first game last year in the same one, the Jimmy Rowe game, where he had his coming out party because he needed to get some parts for the Canary Yellow BT1. Separate from the party on the York Peninsula in the <laughs> off-season. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Was it? During COVID protocols with the, the three other poor yeah. players. Oh, and he uh, stayed oh, in his yeah, and he but stayed in his room. He stayed in his bedroom. Yeah. yeah, right. We know your tricks, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I peed in the corner. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy, we're going to miss you, mate. I, I, I think he, he deserved a spot. Honestly. Yeah. 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 I think everyone is very player. harsh on him. Yeah. Mm, correct. Mm. But anyway, hopefully he plays well at Collingwood. I said that I think that um, he didn't really have anyone to learn off from from our team. Like when you think he's only just moved to defence this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they're all the same age. Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. Ganging up parts. on him. Yeah. <laughs> You're not one of us, man. <laughs> he just, I mean? he like, marks the ball you, in, in the defensive. It just turns around and just kicks it. A... <laughs> That's the stupidest at... rush behind him. What are you now, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> but like, you look at Collingwood. They were like more how like I think learning from them yeah. and playing with them, mm. he'll be way better. Anyway, well, now, now that now, now that uh, Brody Grundy, yeah. and now they've got two Billies. Mm. Collingwood fans are pissed off. Uh, Jamie Elliott's nickname is Billy. Oh, yeah. You're not happy Billy about are. it. Yeah. Mm. It's all right. Frandra won't be in there once much. Let's be perfectly honest here. <laughs> like, realistic. No, I reckon he actually will get a yeah. good shot at it. Maybe a couple, but... <laughs> nah. Can yeah. I just say that was the most perfect... <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That was brilliant. Oh. <laughs> all right. I think that's it for the Crow Joke, Benny Mac. I think it may be. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Thank you once more to our sponsors in Trojan <laughs> Aluminium and Nathaniel's Coffee and Panini for well, hosting us and sponsoring us. What a lovely venue we're in. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, Leighton. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Ben. And thank you for joining us, Jade. Thank you. Yay. Thank yeah. you. And thank you to everyone for listening. Uh, yes. Go Crom. Go Crom. Go Crom. Go Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jimmy. I do. I love you. 